In this video, I'm going to show you how to play Angeline the Baker. This is a must-know jam tune that I think you should pay attention to. It's very suitable for beginners because we're here we also are like laying the foundation for the alternate picking. It's mostly downstrokes, but when the upstrokes is coming, we want to really nail them and get them right. So let me show how to play this tune and get your picking hand work perfectly. My name is Magnus Sedlund and I help mandolin players just like you take their playing to the next level. If you're new here at the channel, make sure you subscribe because we have new videos like this coming out every week. And also hit that bell notification button and you will get notified as soon as we publish a new video. If you want to simplify the learning of this song, Angeline the Baker, and the rest of the content at our YouTube channel, check out Mandolin Secrets Academy, where you find sheet music, tabs, play along tracks for all of our content, and you can also connect to the amazing community of our growing <laughs> community of mandolin players just like you. Just go to mandolinsecrets.com forward slash academy. Angeline the Baker is a tune in the key of D major. We're using the D major scale. And let us first just have a listen to when I play through the, the tune. Then I'm going to give you some tips and we're going to play it even at a slower tempo. But here we go, Angeline the Baker at 160. And pay attention to my picking hand and the way it moves all the time. A one, two, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> Right, there you got it. And if you're following along in the PDF with the tabs, I think you can start picking this out. But I want, this is some a few tips that I want to give you before we even play it at the slow tempo. If we're taking a close look at the, the two first bars only, it's like... So you want to really pay attention to the picking directions here. You can see down, 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 then the upstroke. It's very important that we pick that note with the upstroke. It's the open A string. So that we can get the phrasing right. And this is also setting us up for playing fiddle tunes with more notes involved and also at faster tempos. And one of the, th the tricks I have to get this round is to keep the, the movement in my hand even if I'm not picking in a, uh, the string. You can see it's like one, two, three, four. So I'm not stopping the hand. You can see this when we're now watching the performance video once more. And another thing that I want you to really pay attention to is also I'm kind of I'm very often I'm letting this D note I'm holding that fretting the note so it's actually uh, like giving us a little bit of an overlapping harp sound. You see? 
so that the, the D note is kind of sustaining while I'm picking those notes. The opposite would be to cut them off. See, that gives us a little bit of a more full sound and it's uh, those small details that kind of separates someone playing the mandolin well and someone that's not knowing all these trade secrets. So now I will play it at a slow tempo. This is 100 beats per minute and I think you can pay attention to all these small details that I just pointed out. The moving right hand and how the fretting hand is actually holding some notes to get a more full sound. Here we go. Oh, one, two, oh, one, two, ready, go. <laughs> That's it, Angeline the Baker. Use the technology, go back and forth, and also use the backing tracks and play alongs that we put together so that you can play it at different tempos. And also, it's a very good thing to learn this melody because we have a cross picking arrangement for this tune as well. But you want to be able to play the most, the basic version, before trying that one. As always, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. And we would also be very glad if you would like to put a comment below, letting us know if you're playing the tune and the line the baker. It's one of these must know tune, isn't it? Every good jam session most often includes the and line the baker. Even the slow jams, it's a kind of a starter song. So you want to have this like, yeah, you want to have this step one down. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you in a new video soon. Bye for now.